Hello, rock fans! Research and progressing through the technology tree are the core ideas behind Rise of Cultures. Before we dive into this topic, please subscribe to this channel to never miss any news from your new favorite game. Rise of Cultures is a game about building cities, discovering new civilizations, forming your empire, and leading them through the ages of mankind by the means of trade, war, and diplomacy. That's why researching new technologies is one of the most important parts of it. You can access your research screen by tapping the lab flask icon in the bottom left corner of your screen. There, you can view all currently available ages of mankind that you can go through, starting with the Stone Age. Tap an era of your choice to preview the available technologies, their costs, and their advantages. Every technology requires a certain number of research points to unlock. Your currently available research points are visible in the bottom left of the screen when viewing the city, and in the top center part when in the research view. They're generated continuously, one per hour, until you reach 10 of them. The auto-generation will then stop. Research points are also available as rewards in different areas of the game. You can have more than 10 unspent research points, but their auto-generation will not resume until you have 9 or less research points in your bar. In addition to research points, technologies will also cost coins, food, and a certain amount of different goods. The costs increase the further you get in the research tree. Technologies also depend on you having researched previous ones, which means you cannot freely jump over them. Every technology leads to some kind of improvement for you. This can be anything ranging from a new upgrade to one of your buildings, their limit increasing, to making a completely new building available. Some of the technologies even unlock entire new features. You will quickly notice that some technologies are also marked with additional tags referring to other cultures. For example, Egypt or China. Those technologies will help your future partner cities, which are cities secondary to your capital. Once you have completed all technologies of your current age, you can advance to the next one. Keep in mind that you also need to complete all quests from the age you are currently in before you move on. Reaching a new era is always a major leap for your city. It will always improve your city hall and provide more upgrades to your buildings. If you ever hit the end of available content, know that there is no reason to worry. We always work on more fun for you so you can keep making your city larger and more beautiful and your empire more powerful. We hope that this small overview comes in handy when you learn the basics of Rise of Cultures. Make sure to like this video if you think it was interesting and want to see more in the future. Keep on rocking!